Hey, what's up everyone? This is Illuminati from the Discord Bot Maker Game Dev Group and today we're gonna create a basic health system with a few uh, topics and um, pretty much what it'll do is what we're gonna work it out as is that when it's just the user types in help we're gonna just send a message letting them know that it requires a topic parameter and let's go ahead and get that started so uh, what we first did is create a new action and we're gonna just select the default send message and in there we're gonna type in the variable dollar sign uh, left curly bracket word server the right curly bracket and just the word help system um, I'll explain these, uh, this server variable here to any of you new uh, developers who are new to Discord Bot Maker uh, as well as Discord. Uh, but basically, uh, moving on, we can go ahead and click on or type in topic. And we're going to let them know that there's going to be two commands, uh, 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 well, two topics. One is going to be named commands. The second is going to be named support. And of course I can't type today, but that's okay because we can go ahead and move it on. And over here we can put usage. Yes, let me point now. This single quote that you see here just highlights um, is a uh, formatter for, for text. So it can help you, uh, you can actually use it within your text when sending messages. And for here we're going to type in the, the prefix, in our case it's going to be the exclamation point and the word help. And after that we're going to put the space and the word, uh, let's put topic. And put that here. And put another example there as help. and commands and here we can put I help commands so now that that's done we can go ahead and put that there we can go ahead and click on create and from here we're going to go to Conditions. We're going to click on check variable and we're going to leave it as a temp variable and for the variable name we're going to put in uh, actually what we'll need is a store command parameter so let's scroll down to other stuff we'll go to store command parameter And we're going to put one parameter, parameter number one. Temp variable is going to be the topic name. And create action. And over here, we're going to check. Create a condition and check for that parameter. And number of parameters is less oh, it's less than one continue the actions and if false we're going to jump to an action number so what we'll do is we'll place that on the very first action so that way it'll check to see if the user entered in a parameter and if it didn't it will go ahead and uh, send this message if it did enter if the user did enter in a parameter it'll store it here in this section and then we'll continue on from there uh, so basically what we'll put is a create and go to other stuff and we're going to scroll down and put in a end action sequence click on create action and let's go ahead and just test this to make sure that uh, it does work. Uh, there is just one thing that we should do and I always kind of forget this and um, should possibly mention that it's 
a good idea to always go back and reread all your actions to make sure because as you notice you're um, sometimes you're very anxious to go ahead and test the command that you forget that there is uh, something that is missing that may actually stop your command from running so basically what we're gonna do is uh, being that we're gonna skip those two commands if it's the parameter is less than one we're gonna go ahead uh, we're gonna do skip next actions and we're gonna skip those two actions and we can go ahead and save that and go ahead and run it and we can go ahead and make sure that everything's checking out correctly so here we type in help um, as you can see we have our uh, usage the dollar sign server variable that we put it actually was replaced with your uh, server discord server name um, the usage as you can see is help topic and of course the help commands um, as you can see here I, that is incorrect it should actually be this character here uh, in order to continue that getting highlighted but that's something we can go and uh, easily fix it's not gonna you know disrupt your uh, project from moving forward um, so what we can do is also is can create a condition and what we're going to do is a check variable um, I know most would actually click on check parameter um, but we don't want to do that we want to keep track of what the user is actually uh, typed in for that parameter and it'll store anything in that first uh, parameter and uh, press after pressing enter uh, that'll be pretty much the parameter it'll say uh, but for our case being that we're using topics to kind of keep things neatly we can um, use the check variable and what we'll do is we'll select the check variable that we created uh, in the store parameter or the uh, check for um, the store parameter action which is here uh, we named that temp variable uh, topic name. So we're gonna always want to check what that variable is holding. So in our case, we want to check the topic name variable and see if the user has entered any of the commands, which in our case would be commands or support. So we'll type in commands in quotes and make sure that the comparisons type is selected to equal and if it is true it'll continue the actions and if it's false it'll jump to the next action which in our case it'll be checking to see if the user has entered the topic support and if it did it'll pretty much follow the same the same process so let's go ahead and move on um, we can click on check variable and in here we're going to create of course you can just right click and click on clone uh, any action and just drop it down but for the newer uh, developers uh, pretty much what you'll do is um, just click on the create action or the create button and that'll create an action and in the message we're going to put in the title of the topic which in our case would be uh, commands help and these are the commands available and of course you can type in command one command two command three And what do you know? Ah, 
obviously is number three. And we'll click on create action. And from there we can uh, copy this and action sequence. So we'll clone it and drop it all the way to the end. And moving on forward, being that we can uh, check, we're going to check again to see if the user didn't uh, type in command and instead type in support. Pretty much action number five is the action that determines or checks to see if the parameter compares to commands. And if true, it will continue the action, uh, which would be send this message here, the commands help. And if false, it'll pretty much skip the next two actions. Um, it'll skip number one here and number two here. So from there, we're going to clone this uh, action number five because it's the same uh, action we need. And we're going to move it all the way to the end. And double click on it, uh, edit the action. And from the value to compare, we're going to switch that over to support. And we can leave uh, everything the same, being that we're just going to pretty much copy uh, what's going on here. So we can clone action number six and drop it uh, underneath the uh, check variable. And we can put the clone the end action sequence and put that at the end of end message. So uh, moving on, uh, being that we already uh, edit the check the second check variable which should be the topic name uh, equals support and if true it's going to continue the actions and if false it's going to skip the next two actions and pretty much uh, the send message we'll double click on it to edit the action we're going to switch or change the command help to support help and these are the support commands available and we can put here support command one support command two and support command three and we can put on edit action and that's pretty much it um it's a pretty much a rudimentary help system and you can expand to it uh simply by uh, creating a check variable, we're cloning this one here, and in the value to compare, you are entering any of the topics to, uh, for your help system that you want included. Uh, once that's done, another thing that we could do uh, to make sure, let's say, what if the user put in a topic that's not mentioned in there? What we can actually put is a copy to send message here, we'll clone it. Put it underneath the end action sequence. Let's go ahead and edit action number 11. And from here, we can put the server sign uh, help system. And in here, we can put there is no topic by that name and over here we can put topics commands and support click on action let's go ahead and save it and test out this sucker Okay, so let's go ahead and type in the command help. It pretty much gives us the first usage. Um, as you can notice here, I didn't put in the, the bold in the first when you type in just help by itself so that you can tell the difference between uh, it calling the first command and the last command. And let's go ahead and just to make sure that it skips all the commands by putting a topic that we don't have in there. In this case, we're going to put unknown topic. 
and we should get the message that there's no topic available by that name and of course you can see here it'll list the topics command support of course we can put an explanation there that says uh, uh, to type in the following command as a parameter but let's go ahead and test out the commands parameter we can put type help or exclamation point help uh, space and type in commands and we should get the commands help uh, menu as you can see here and these are the commands available command 1, command 2, command 3 okay so moving on to make sure that the help system is functioning correctly as we want it to let's type in help and support and we should get the support help uh, as you can see here and these are the support commands available support command 1, support command 2, support command 3 so that's basically it for creating a uh, health system uh, you can locate this file in our paste spin group as well as our discord raw data channel on our uh, discord bot maker game dev group uh, make sure you can join uh, our group and um, learn on developing with Discord Bot Maker. So again, this has been Eliminati. I hope you enjoy your evening and press that like button. Thanks.